The Condorcet paradox is an occurrence in social choice theory in which a population's preference can be in a state of a deadlock. To describe it in the simplest case, let us imagine we had three individuals running for president and three groups of the population, each being close to a third of the whole. Now let us suppose the following preferences for each of the groups. You can read this as group 1 prefers A over B and B over C. The relationships are transitive, so group 1 prefers A over C as well. Group 2 prefers B over C and C over A and so on and so forth. And as we can clearly see, no decision can be achieved. Each candidate is preferred by roughly a third of the population. However, it gets worse. Suppose the election ran in two parts, a regional and a national one. In the first run, A was pitted against B. Two groups preferred A over B, so A won with close to 66% of the total votes. In the second, the national, A was against C. Two groups have a preference for C over A, so C wins and becomes the president. However, two-thirds of the population prefer B over C. So if the first stage had been A against C and then C against B, B would have won the election. This is the essence of the Condorcet paradox. And while it may seem contrived, some real-world elections have been shown to be a case of this paradox. In fact, some papers claim that during the 2016 presidential election, such a cycle occurred. It is thus important to remain aware of at least some facts from social choice theory, so we can make better and more informed decisions about how we structure our democratic system as a whole.